left to right, we have forward Oscar Da Silva, head coach Jerry Pass, guard Dejon Davis. Coach, do you want to open up with a statement? Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think that was our best effort, uh, especially on the offensive end in that first half. But certainly give uh, Kansas a lot of credit. Uh, that's a big time defensive team, and it's a big time team in general. Um, for us, we're very aware and clear that uh, when we start getting close to 20 turnovers, we're not going to be the team we want to be. Uh, I thought our guys handled some of the adversity really well, but we just could not get it rolling on the offensive end. And uh, uh, and then coupled with the uh, rebounding margin, I think that's what led to the uh, the final score. So, Coach, how impressive was it, Gary, for instance, you guys took uh, not until the 12-minute uh, mark to really get on the scoreboard, and they were missing threes all over the place. So how important was their defense to you guys today? Well, the, their defense is really good, and um, I do believe that we have more in our tank offensively. I think we can be a little bit stronger with the basketball and have better decisions. And until we get to that point, I don't think we're going to be a, an offensive juggernaut. But the thing is, I think we have really good offensive players. And I think uh, once we do figure that out and crack that code to reduce our turnovers, I think we're going to be a really uh, efficient offensive team. Uh, defensively, I thought we were really good that first half. Um, this team has uh, really had an identity on the defensive end uh, this entire year. And we're going to certainly rely on that moving forward. What did they do specifically? I think they're fundamentally sound. They have shot blockers at the rim. They uh, pressure on the wings. Uh, we got pushed out there and then either turned the basketball over or uh, got passive and got back on our heels. But the combination of some pressure and then uh, having shot blockers at the rim uh, made it difficult for us. Oscar, toward the end of the half, you guys didn't crawl back into it and then they stretched it out to 10. Was that a, a bit of a shot to your confidence or just kind of your momentum going into halftime? Uh, the end of the first half? Yeah. I mean, I think we made a really good run uh, at, at one point in the first half, and that kind of showed us that we can compete with these guys and run with them. Um, I mean, they made, made a couple good shots. They made a few contested threes. Uh, but at halftime, at, like at no point, anybody thought that this game was over because of that. So, Coach, you know how well Kansas travels. But for you guys, was it discouraging to hear all those uh, Kansas fans out there cheering? Not for me. I mean, it's fun when Maples is full. I think it gives a it's a it's a good environment. It's a great environment. And, you know, fan turnout has been has been a lot better. But you know, to have Maples packed like this is definitely a special event, and it makes fun to play. We do believe Maples is going to fill, and the reality is we need to win some games, which we've been doing. And uh, the reality too is there's a, a bunch of guys that have a great deal of pride for Stanford. They're playing their tails off, and uh, I think as people uh, start coming out, they're going to see that group and. Uh, obviously, we'll keep sharing the basketball offensively, but I think it's a, a group that fans are going to enjoy watching. I think uh, it'll grow in time as we keep uh, building building the product. Jerry, some offensive problems today, notwithstanding. How do you feel about where your team is at going into Pac-12 play? We're making progress. This game, we obviously need to learn from this game and grow from it, but the reality is uh, this team, this program is continuing to make progress, and we're putting ourselves in a uh, really good spot with our non-conference. Uh, However, growth needs to continue in conference for us to be able to achieve what we want. Oscar, uh, Oscar Lucia took only two shots, and um, he was a rebounding force. But were, were you surprised at how much they kind of played the three-point game, given, given his size and stuff? I mean, we know that he's a big body down there, and he's like a, f a big phys physical presence. So um, part of our game plan was to try to keep him and also my Cormac out of the game by being very physical down there. Um, obviously, like it required a lot of energy, but I was like, I tried my best in there to, to fight him and keep him off the boards and, um, and keep him off. Like, it would try to push him out and try to have him do post moves and stuff like that. And I'm happy that that was successful. I think we gave up a few too many offensive rebounds to him, probably. But, but overall, you were pleased with how the game plan worked against Yeah, them. I think it worked really well against their bigs. Okay. Dejan, what are the lessons that you think this team took from this non conference schedule and how that helped? Um, I think we have a lot of potential, um, and I don't like really using that word, but um, we have a lot of room for growth, so that's a, always a positive, and um, we saw we're capable of um, some inconsistencies with coming out strong, and we know that if we come out and put our best foot forward on the defensive end, usually that we're able to rely on that, and tonight obviously we weren't able to, um, so just figuring out offense and getting more fluid with our offense. and. Coach has been emphasizing playing harder on offense because we play so hard on defense. Um, that is, we have to balance it out a little and play hard on offense and um, wear the other team's defense down, moving it to multiple sides. And part of that is 
by taking care of the ball. So moving into conference, um, I feel like we have to take care of the ball more, which will heavily um, increase our offensive production. Jared, what do you think this game has to look like coming in for you guys to have your best shot? Um, well, I think we need to, in, in simplest terms, we have to uh, reduce our turnovers. And then obviously on the boards, you know, we're, our defense is pretty good when you're pl when we're playing in the half court and uh, transition opportunities happen. Uh, some of them uh, from turnovers, and I think it's a it's a double edged sword there. It hurts us because we're losing possession of the basketball, but it's also giving them transition, uh, and then the offensive rebounds. But uh, we needed a game where they had to go against our set defense for 40 minutes, uh, and then offensively, look, it's at some point we got to make some shots and things got to start rolling. I did think we were. You know, maybe a couple possessions, a couple threes, a couple good things happening uh, to maybe uh, roll into another couple things, but that just never happened tonight. Jared, given how you guys defended Yudoka, uh, what did you think of Moss for them? What do you think? He was fantastic. I mean, uh, what, uh, 7 of 11 off the bench from the three point line, and uh, that was certainly a, uh, a difference maker as the game opened up a little bit. No, it's always on the schedule. We're trying to uh, build up the schedule and put ourselves in the best position possible. Um, uh, you know, it's it's good to get national exposure and play a national brand uh, uh, like Kansas. But I also feel like we're building the foundation here that uh, we will be a national uh, brand for Stanford basketball moving forward as well. But uh, it's positive and certainly have a lot of fond memories of Kansas. But I'm uh, pretty locked into Stanford right now and everything we're doing, and so. Uh, I really think uh, there's some good moments to be had moving forward.